must be the place where they dumped a lot of pop or soda, whatever you call it. Let's look. Hello everybody, it is Sue from Lopsided Learning. Welcome back to the channel. If you are new here, welcome. And please don't forget to hit the like button if you like the video and don't forget to subscribe. We are going to be doing another dig today. Um, if we look around a little bit, you're gonna see how grown over this part is. So you can see, but I still have faith that I can bring up some goodies. So we're gonna give it a try and see how far we get today. I will get back to you in a minute. Okay guys, this is a tricky one. Whew. There is so much uh, grass here and stuff and I'm a little messy, I got the shovel out. And I just kind of placed myself here, shoveled out, and I started looking down here because I thought I had some potential. And, oh sorry, it's really buggy out and hot. Um, I found some broken bottles, but there's something underneath a pile here. So I'm gonna put you back so we can go at this together. So if you can see what I see, there were some broken pieces. So I, I, you know, I just thought, well, let's keep digging. And I wanted to go a little bit lower than I normally go. I think it is lower. It's hard when it's all grown up. So, so we found that, oh good, the sun's coming out. And I hope you can see, there we go. So, oh, keep getting, but where was that? There's another piece. Yes, right here. There you go. Look at that. Now. <laughs> Okie doke. Well, it's plastic. It's just plastic. Hmm. What else is over here? All right. Plastic. So let's take a look at this very unusual find. So, I'm gonna take my gloves off. So this obviously isn't that old, I don't think, because it feels like plastic. It's a, I'm trying to get you guys and me able to see it. <laughs> um, patent Gasca, right there. Made in, oh, Germany, that's cool. Brit zone. Oh my. I, okay, first of all, I well, let's hang on a minute. Yeah, you do unscrew it. There's some pieces in there. Maybe they, it reminds me of a French coffee press. Only very small. I, I don't know. But the bottom has me a little, I gotta look at that again, guys. So it says what? Gesca. Patent Gesca, made in Germany, Brit Zone. Oh, hang on, guys. I got. <laughs> okay, guys. This is. I know it's only plastic, but honestly, this bottom has me a little um, perplexed, and I'm going to need to do a little research on it because this is made in Germany, Brit Zone which is kind of weird because I believe after World War II, they, when Germany, you know, was gonna not win, Germany was split into different zones and one of them was a Brit zone. And so I will do some more research and we will go over this. So I don't know what it is too. I'll see if I can find out what it is. I know it's just plastic, but I'll look that up. Like that could be some good history, guys. All right, let's keep digging down here. Here we go. Okay, guys, I found another little spot where I dug just a little bit over from my other site where I found that plastic gesca. And also there's like some little uh, black caps and red caps growing here. Um, but anyway, I'm digging here and I see the metal this thing. Let's see. Let's see. I don't know what this wire is. Like chicken wire or something? I'm sure my husband will let me know. Oh, well, we just had one pop out. It's broken. 
Oh well, it's a brown broken, but actually it's a different, ow. <laughs> it's a different kind of brown broken, isn't it guys? Huh, what would have it been? It would have been, would have been, I don't know. I'm just gonna say that. I don't think that's a beer bottle. That's funny how it just popped out. Come in the middle. Come on. You know I have to get underneath you. <laughs> Guys, if you can't see, I'm so sorry. Oh my goodness. Come on. So, because I did see mm, bottles. <laughs> here, let's flop it over there. Now where'd those bottles go? Okay, okay, here's one. Okay, do you see this one, guys? It's broken. Oh. Mm. Well, there's another one of those bottles. This one says Listerine. I think we've found a whole one of those before, I think. I'm gonna toss those over there. Oh yeah, one well, sticking right here. This is broken. Hmm, this might be something. Oh, it is something. Hold on. Okay, careful. Is it what I think it is? Hey, hang on a second, guys. Oh my goodness. I think I might have found another Pepsi bottle. Oh my gosh. Okay, again, I don't think it's great shape, but look, look, look. Here, let me make sure I can. Look, it's Pepsi. It's got the Pepsi Cola around the outside. Oh, Pepsi with the really fun history that we talked about. Doesn't have, it's got at least a little on the front. Oh my gosh. Oh, look at the back. This one has, it's got the Pepsi circle on the top, but then it's also got some of the information on the back. Um, uh, something under Law Pepsi Cola Co. New York. Oh my goodness. I knew where you found I knew where you found one Pepsi can or bottle. You would have to find another, right? Um, I think it's, uh, here's the bottom. I think it, is that, I forgot. I think it's 59. We'll double check that out. I know it's not that old if it is 59, but it's older than me. So yeah, <laughs> let's keep looking in this honey hole here because I pulled up I'm gonna put that there. All right, so we got some, that's pretty, I'm happy with a Pepsi bottle and a weird German thing. All right, let's find some more stuff. Okay, guys, I'm gonna really, really, really try to lift up this wire now, um, just because that one bottle fell out. We found a Pepsi bottle and you know, I can't help but dig up metal. So I'm hoping if I do get this up, I'm not wasting any time because it's giving me a really hard time and it's really hot out here and buggy, but that's okay. That's okay. We have a couple good finds here. So let's see what we find. We will be getting over to the other uh, field soon. Um, one of these days we'll do some uh, metal detecting too. Do you guys see the berries? As I get my gloves on, look at the berries. My kids love to eat the berries. And it's okay, they know good from bad. I think we talked about that in a video. So where does this begin and where does it end? I hope you can see what I see. Do you see what I see? Oh, I heard a clunk. A clunk sounds good. Sounded like glass. Finding glass. Finding glass. Finding glass. Find, oh. No, no way. Hires root beer no <gasps> it's a hires root beer you guys <laughs> this must be i mean i'm a mess i'm so sorry this must be the place where they dumped a lot of pop or soda whatever you call it let's look at this so we have so we have a hires bottle and oh, is this the back of the Okay. Oh, it still has some writing. So I think it's Hires Root Beer. The old time flavor made by Heinz since 1816. Since 1816. Oh my gosh. And it says, 
something e hires hires co philadelphia pa hires and then there's some stuff here oh my gosh let's go to the bottom oh it just says real nice hires let's have a date oh no i don't know i mean i i'm not sure again we found a pepsi and a hires the only thing better is if a coke would come up right now right but we've never found a hires before i can't wait to do some research on it we found the dad's root beer that great big mug remember but we haven't found a hires i should we make a bet about how this price started as medicine i don't know it seems like all pop starts or soda starts as medicine okay i know i'm filthy guys but i'm having a blast i'll see you in a minute okay guys i am a mess sweaty yeah all that um nothing really exciting but let me show you what i found i'm almost i'm at kind of the creek level and digging a lot and i'm really dirty hang on let me get this where i want it so i was digging here and this came up actually i am i'm thinking it's like a shower um head maybe yeah looks like one to me isn't that exciting looks like you can make it into a little bell ding ding <laughs> oh dear um and then I just found this little plastic cap and I'm almost wondering um, if it's like an, I don't know, a cap to just by the size of it to like Old Spice or something. Oh, so yes, we got this and this and we do have broken glass, which is why I keep hanging around this spot here. Um, I'll probably just, um, I'll probably look just a little bit longer and see what we can find. We still, we have, um, we have the new hires, which I do want to go look into. Um, and that we're German. Oh my goodness. Guys, there's dirt all over my face. I bet you anything. Um, and that German piece that says Brit Zone sounds so cool to me. Um, and what else? Oh, and the Pepsi that has more information on it. Um, and then, of course, these finds. Dude, they're so beautiful. So let's just try a little bit more and then we'll see what happens. Okay, guys. At this point, I'm covered in dirt and sweat and yuckies and I need a shower. Um, I'm not having much luck of finding things, but I did find one thing I thought it was really interesting. Um, and I'll explain. It's broken, but I'll explain why it's cool to me. So, here it is. It is a piece, um, it's like a porcelain piece of something. Now, I'm not even going to call it a it might be a plate, but it was obviously like a gold plate. So this is the outside. If we had the whole thing, and there's, we could find out the circumference of the bottom. I'm so weird like that, mathematics. Um, and figure out how big it is. The pattern does remind me of a certain um, artist or brand, or I'm not quite sure what to say. Um, I will, I'm going to look into that just because... It's such an interesting shape and the fact that, you know, that's how far away it goes and this is the, that. I might be doing me some math. <laughs> I can always ask for help from the engineer husband. Um, and then these are just some little other things we found which are nothing really. Um, this metal thing, that's where I found um, this. Ah, I got a dirty piece. And then a, a bomber, just a, a one, I don't know what it was, a one quart maybe, but it's broken. And then we have our two other finds. So, it's still been a good day, guys. I mean, if you look at me covered in dirt and sweat, if anybody hasn't realized this by now, I definitely do not do this to, you know, be the, uh, look good. <laughs> this is not my, I'm just hoping to touch base. <laughs> with my family and friends um and look at some cool stuff with you guys so let me go clean up the pepsi bottle we found two now um the hires root beer which is great because we found that great big dad's a long time ago um what else uh, oh yeah that weird uh the german um brit zone gesca that looks like like a tiny french coffee press or something um and i'm gonna look up the this pattern Try to figure out what it is. And just for tickles, I'll take these in.
All right, guys, when I have everything cleaned up, I will get back to you and let you know what we found today. See you in a bit. Hello, guys. I am back, and we are going to check out our finds. I'm going to start with the one that um, really sparked my interest, and I did some research on it, and I think it's a pretty cool part of, you know, the whole world history, really. So let's take a look. Okay, guys. So here's that little plastic thing that I'm like, what is that thing? Um, so yeah, I found out more stuff about it. I don't know exactly what this piece is, but I'm still gonna say maybe espresso or a coffee um, press, but it's so small you would think it's espresso. So yeah, it has the patent at Gesco, right, on the top. But then when things got really kind of confusing to me was when I flipped it over, and I know there's little pieces in there. And when I flipped it over and I started reading into it a little bit more, and I think I'm gonna unscrew it just because I wanna make sure you got this. All right, so when you take it apart, you see that there's two pieces. Um, to this Gesca little plastic thing. Um, and then there's like a, almost like a plunger type thing, which is kind of weird, but it reminds me of a French press coffee thing. And on the bottom, I think these are just rubber pieces. So I'm just gonna like pour them out. For now, you're just gonna stay there and all. <laughs> and I think it went all around the bottom of this. Okay, guys? That's my thought. Couldn't find it online or anywhere, but I could find Gesca and some research. Okay, so, and I might be saying Gesca wrong. It might be Giska or something like that, but this is patent Gesca, Giska, not sure how to say it, like I said, but what got me I mean, what got me so excited, like, was seeing the bottom here, where I'm hoping it's focusing in for you guys, where it says made in Germany, okay? Okay, I get that, but then it says Brit Zone. Brit Zone, okay? So that's when things got interesting for me. So let's put this piece back together so I can talk to you for a minute. Okay guys, so one thing I know is that after World War II, when we all kind of knew that Germany wasn't gonna win the war, it was a horrific war um, that happened 20 years after World War I. It was just devastating of a war and um, the allied regions were concerned that perhaps Germany might attempt to do another um, battle or fight against others um, to win power. So what happened was Germany was actually split um, into four zones, okay? So in 1945, they were split into four zones. So, um, one of the zones was the Brit zone, the Brit zone, or the UK zone. That zone just happened to be the one that was really big on manufacturing, it was. So you had the Brit zone, you had the US zone, you had the France zone, and you had the USSR zone, okay? So Germany was split into four parts and pieces, in 19, uh, I believe, 45, okay? So that's what the Allied uh, folks did. And then um, what happened was the US, uh, the UK, and France wanted to split Germany into some different things. Let me kind of show you a picture and show you a book that I think is amazing and 
um, is really great for history. So let me quickly show you that. This book is excellent. The thing you need to ace world history in one big fat book <sighs> from the brains behind brain quest notes borrowed from a blah okay listen guys this is a good book this is truly a good book i was impressed with it because of the font and because of the pictures they make things so much clearer than when you hand a kid one of those great big textbooks or have them read things online. I can't read things online. I have to like print them out and look at them. But this book I got for myself. So this is perfect for anyone of any age. Um, it was super duper for me because my eighth grader was studying World War II and this way I could kind of refresh my memory a little bit. So this is a really good book. I hope they don't mind that I'm using it. But if, if I, and I'm not doing any advertisements for these folks, but I, I wanna give kudos to them because I think this is really good, especially if you have a child with a learning disability or maybe has dyslexia or something along those lines. This book, and you know, underneath all this, I'm also an occupational therapist, um, you know, neurology, blah, blah. So anyway, let's take a look at this book. We'll make it simple. So I am going to open up the book and we are gonna to go to this page right here. Page 462. The reason I'm gonna do this will make sense in a minute. For Guska. Okay, so like, this is what happened. After World War II in 1945, the Allied powers, the major powers um, that kind of brought Germany down from you know World War II and when everybody realized World War II wasn't the Germans weren't going to win. It was a horrific war, really horrific. Um, it happened only 20 years after World War I. It was just devastating and horrible. So in order for um, each country, the Allied countries, to feel safe, that Germany maybe wouldn't go back out and like attack or try to take over land, they split Okay, Germany, so that's Germany, into four zones that would be occupied by the allies that had each piece. So up here you have the UK zone or the Brit zone, which is Geska, Brit zone. And that is also where all, a lot of the manufacturing was done. A lot of it was done in this region. Then down here we have France. Then we have the U.S. And then we have the USSR. So, and I believe it was July 1945, everything was hunky-dory and this was good and it worked and we tried to make sure Germany didn't try anything funny. Um, we even split up um, their capital, Berlin, right here, okay? I'm not gonna get into a ton of that because that's a whole nother ball of wax. <laughs> I'm gonna put that up there so we don't have so many shadows, goodness gracious. So. This is important because this is gonna give you a timeline of when this could have possibly been made. So the UK zone and the France and the US and the USSR. These zones took effect in July of 1945. Now, what happened was the UK, France and the US, they wanted to get together and they did in spring of 1948 and they wanted to form more of a West, more of a West Germany, um, for which they would call it um, the Federal Republic of Germany. It was formerly called West Germany or the Federal Republic of Germany, uh, the Federal Republic of Germany in 1949, okay? But the USSR was not happy with this. Not at all. And um, so a month after that, um, the USSR um, formed Eastern, an Eastern German state from their part, calling it the German Democratic Republic. And we can get into more of that. But basically, um, it was 
there was only a certain amount of time for this Gesca to be made. So that would be from July 1945 until um, the western part of Germany became Federal Republic of Germany in 1949, okay? So the that that doesn't give much time for the Brit zone, does it? Where's that Brit zone? I so love this piece, guys. It's just it, it it tells so much history, even though it's not like super old. Yeah, so Brit zone. So from you think about it, from July 1945. Yes, um, until um, what was it again? And so spring of 1948. But then it was formalized. So from 1945 in July, I believe, until 1949, when West Germany was formally formed, the Federal Republic of Germany, um, that would be the UK, France, and US. That's the only time frame you would have for this piece of Gesca. So Gesca. So 45, 46, 47, 48, 49, I mean, you just got it like four, four years maybe for your things to say Brit Zone. That is, of course, unless they didn't change the mold. But this is a significant piece in history, even though it isn't old. Great. All right. This is cool. Um, yeah, let's get on to our next thing. Mm. Do you remember out there how I was digging? I said, who wants to bet that this hires root beer was made by a pharmaceutical company or pharmacist or started out that way. If you agreed with me, you would be right. This cracks me up. Oh my goodness. I'm going to talk to you all just a smidge about it hires root beer. All right, here we go. Oh guys, I probably won't go over the Pepsi bottle because we've already found one, but it was super cool to find this Hires bottle. So it has the Hires up there written really kind of cute and some here. And then it even has some stuff on the back, but that looks pretty prominent, right? So that was really neat. And then it talks about the flavor and things. So the story has it, the rumors, the little, you know, fun stories you hear about things is that Hires Root Beer um, was indeed marketed by someone in the pharmaceutical industry, <laughs> um, Charles Elmer Hires. Ah, that explains the name, right? The coolest fact I found about Hires Root Beer is that Hires Root Beer is the second continuously made soft drink in the U.S. Can any of you guess what the number one continuously one is? I bet you can't. It's Verner's. It's Verner's. So anyway, that was just a little added fun. Okay, let's go back. Okay. So my Hires Root Beer bottle that I found, it's so cute. Um, it made me chuckle and be happy because we found that great big jug of dad's root beer and now we have this cute little Hires one. And I love that there still is some information on it. It's not that old, guys. Not that old, but it's still fun. But what is old is that they began marketing Hires Root Beer in 1876. I think I might have said it wrong in the video, but it says down here 1876. Can you see that? I hope you can. So anyway, um, yeah. <laughs> it was developed by a pharmace pharmaceutical pharmaceutical company pharmacist and you know there's a lot more to tell about it but um the truth is root beer had been a, around for a long time even before hires or any other types but um um mr hires he came up with his own little um concoction and people really liked it and you know 
I, I think that's great. I mean, go out and get yourself a root beer float, man. <laughs> My son loves root beer floats. I'm not a big fan of root beer, but I know some of you are, so that's cool. Okay, guys, so we just finished up our Hires Root Beer. Um, that was fun. And I'm gonna, I am gonna just briefly talk about the Pepsi because it's not fair, I don't. Um, we'll keep it short and sweet, okay? Here we go. So here is the Pepsi Cola bottle we found. Not in great shape, still pretty cool. I always like the ribbons on this side. I think those are super cool. And, you know, the fact that this Pepsi sticks out so prominently was awesome, along with some of the wordage. And then I thought it's only fair that I tell you the year that I feel this is from, and I believe it is from 1959, okay? So it's not that old, but to me, it's pretty cool. All right, last little bit here. I'm taking over a lot of time here. This is a fragment of a dish. You guys remember when I found this? Yes, my fragment of a dish. So guys, I am not sure yet what this is. Um, it's not very deep. And I'm not sure totally a lot about it. And I couldn't find the maker yet. But I will. I will. But I'm not going to make you sit through this through this video, but I am going to be doing another video in which I show you if you find a piece of, whether it be porcelain or pottery or anything like that, if you have a fragment that's pretty cool like this with awesome reticulation, that's what they call the beautiful pieces on the outside here with gold, oh, it's awesome. Um, and you have a nice bottom like that, I'm going to teach you in another video how you can find out the circumference of what holds up your piece, so this part, and how you can get a pretty good idea of how big it is, okay? All right, so if you want to check that out, if you ever found a piece that you really thought was cool and you have enough of it, I'm going to show you how to do... Um, <laughs> How to do the circumference of it. We're gonna have a lot of fun. So anyway, I hope you enjoyed everything about today. If you like the video, go ahead and give it a like, please. That would mean a ton to me. Um, and I had a blast today. And don't forget to subscribe so we can see more things. And if you are interested in learning how to do the circumference thing, I'll have that out soon. And it won't be a very long video, but I'll have it out soon. Thank you so much, guys. Stay well and thanks for tuning in. Have a great day. Bye-bye, guys.